User groups with lots to say, interviews and more. No way! Sharing great ideas in the tech community. Fascinating conversations, a plethora of information. Find out for yourself today at ugtastic.com. Hi, it's Mike with Ugtastic. I'm here at SCNA 2013. Right now I'm sitting down with uh, Angelique Martin, who is the um, lead organizer for SCNA. And uh, you've been doing this for a couple years now, but... Uh, well, first, I know you're really busy, so I appreciate you taking that time to sit down with me. Okay. But uh, so, 2013, you've been doing this for a few years. Um, what have what has it that you've learned over the last couple of years that has affected 2013, and how is 2013 maybe different than what you did in 2012? Um, well, the differences were actually pretty subtle. Mm -hmm. uh, the the main concept of the short talk with the long breaks for networking mm -hmm. remained. What we did this year is that we uh, try to change the, the schedule a little bit so that the second day would start a little bit later right. so we could have a code and coffee session so mm -hmm. as to allow for more technical time. Uh, we've reintroduced the 5K that we had uh, three years ago. Uh, this is actually a CNA's fifth year and we used to go back and forth. Now it's been, a flight has been organizing it for I would say the best three years mm -hmm. and then one year before. Uh, so this is really the fourth time that we do this. So um, the, the, the big picture stays the same and is reiterable, yeah. is, that's the world. Um, <laughs> but uh, the idea is to, uh, well, hopefully uh, reiterate the conference and make it well, I thought you said it was really terrible. I was like, I was like, I said, I said, wow, not that's at all. uh, like to reiterate. Is yeah, that not a word. <laughs> no, no, no. It is. It is a word. At least okay. for the sake of this conversation, we will say to reiterate is a word. No, it is. Um, okay. And uh, uh, but I, but as far as kind of the joke there of really terrible, I, I there there's a lot that goes into these these conferences that people might not realize. Oh, absolutely. Um, the the big challenge this year was to get our speakers. Right. Uh, even though we had announced our conference dates uh, last year at the end of the conference, mm -hmm. we had a conflict with another major event with which we were competing for right. speakers. So we had a lot of speakers that couldn't make it this oh, year. Oh, the, yeah, the RubyConf uh, down in The RubyConf down and uh, some other event in Chicago. No fluff, just stuff. No fluff, just stuff. But yeah. luckily, we were still able to you know, have 13 wonderful speakers mm -hmm. and uh, devote a total uh, session to lightning talks and a panel. Uh, which featured four of our speakers. Uh, we tried to put a certain dose of entertainment, so we had um, a couple of Kedas and the Jeopardy game mm -hmm. and um, some other events that we do uh, every year uh, for the attendees. And I think having the introductions by different people. Absolutely. So, so between sessions when uh, a new speaker was coming up, it wouldn't always be the same person introducing the speaker. and. There was one little snag, as there always is in any, mm -hmm. anything, um, where one of the speakers had gotten locked outside. Right. And, and but because of having, you know, a person up there that was comfortable, they could talk mm -hmm. and kind of, yeah, you know, absolutely. control the room a little bit. And right, we had a bunch of uh, software jokes, and right. every, it was winged pretty well. Yes. And Gary made it. To, just what three, four minutes late. Yeah, it was okay. We were a little bit early it, it, on our side as well. But I, I, that's that's what shows a, a strong organization is being able to be resilient through mm -hmm. those kinds of of, of um, uh, hurdles. Absolutely. And but also other things about just like the cost and expense of, of doing a conference. I remember mm -hmm. a conversation you and I had before where you mentioned that previous years. Uh, I don't know if it was last year or the year before. Water bottles for were ridiculous, ridiculously right. expensive. Yeah, it, the, aside, f the, the, the main cost for the conference mm -hmm. is really food, beverages, and uh, the venue. Uh, we've detached ourselves from the hotel because mm -hmm. a few years ago we had a, an experience. Uh, but, uh, right, there's consumption costs that right. are not necessarily um, yeah, so when you take foreseeable. A, when you take a bottle of water, <laughs> keep it because it <laughs> might be really expensive Absolutely. and it, it might affect whether or not there's going to be a conference again next year right and we're always looking for sponsors mm -hmm. I mean I want to 
really say clearly that events like this could not be produced if it wasn't for the help of mm -hmm. the sponsors. So that we can, uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but SCNA's price is the same that we've had for, mm -hmm. at, for as long as I remember putting the conference together. Um, and it's getting to be a stretch. It's getting right. to be difficult to maintain that uh, low price. With, and then competing for sponsors, because they're Absolutely. also looking at, okay, if, I, mm -hmm. if they're a Ruby company or they provide Ruby services, they're going to already be pre-allocating for a direct Ruby conference, and now you're competing mm -hmm. for those dollars just right. because you cover a broad spectrum. Um, anything that, uh, if somebody was looking at um, how they could maybe look at starting their own conference in an area, what are, do you have any other little tidbits you might think of that if somebody's looking at a conference that they might want to just think about before they get into it? What, what are, you know, you mentioned costs and sponsors, but... Right. I think the, the biggest part is the venue. Uh, I uh, found, the past couple of years we've had this venue, which is, by the way, fantastic, mm -hmm. uh, but it's not a hotel venue. So we we are able to limit the mm -hmm. cost and limit the liability because when you do book a conference in a hotel, uh, depending on where you do it, at least that's the experience in mm -hmm. Chicago, they have some sort of ratio of mm -hmm. uh, hotel rooms to meeting space. Uh, right. But with the technology nowadays, it's not uncommon for people to find really cheap rates elsewhere, leaving you with a liability for hotel rooms that are actually not occupied. Right, because they don't seem to be giving you a, an optimal rate. Absolutely offer. not, yes. No, they're, so they're, they're charging top sticker dollars. price. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, I definitely can say that. I am personally myself, when I go to a conference, I'm looking at Hipmunk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, exactly. know, it's, you know, it's, I would love to support the conference, but sometimes it's just the rates are so high that it's right. it almost prohibitive event to even like go as an uh, attendee. Right, exactly. So that's why by not, by not having uh, a hotel venue, mm -hmm. uh, we're able to leave the choice to the people as to what tools they want to do, right. what they want to use to find yeah. the accommodation rates that fit so their budget. So much like we try to write our good software, we decouple things. Yeah, I see. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I know you're not a software person, but... It's, I can understand. Everybody, the they'll, they'll get it, they'll get it. So, <laughs> but uh, anyway, I know you're very busy and I'm catching you right oh, in the middle. Yeah. I appreciate you taking the Absolutely. time to sit down. Thank you. Anytime. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. User groups with lots to say, interviews and more. No way. Sharing great ideas in the tech community. Fascinating conversations, a plethora of information. Find out for yourself today at ugtastic.com.